It is July 9th, 2017. Sorry that my Thursday to Saturday Big Brother is late getting up there last time. But this is the, the Sunday to Wednesday. So I hope you enjoyed. And for the person on Twitter that says, Wave it and match your day. Um, you must have not watched episode 2. What were you doing to miss episode 2? Because episode 2, they showed the showmances. And what, and Raven, what's with the fucking fanny pack? And Raven, I'm glad you finally covered up. Because I don't think your family wanted to see you look like a hooker. With those boobs hanging out like they were. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's in the last clip. Uh, Thursday to Saturday video where I did a su Sunday telling you sorry the video is late and then I said that it's at the end go check it out now after this week if I don't start getting views and comments on my videos then I'm not going to do After Dark anymore and you'll just have to go to Surviving Big Brother for all your spoilers and info because why should I work my butt off making these videos for you all if you're not going to watch them or well, comment down below to let me know that I'm doing a good job. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I see Jessica and Cody socializing with the other house guests? Instead of staying in the have not, discluding everybody. Wow. Did they get bored of each other? Like, what the fuck? And it's funny how they have to be on the lily pad 24 7. People that never watched Big Brother before, and this is your first time. And <clears throat> Big Brother gossip on, uh, Twitter, the veto ceremonies, let me, okay, let me just give you a rundown. Week one, everything's a jumbling mess because of the fact it's the first week, so they do things a little bit different, and do, when the live feeds come back on, or come on for the first time after Thursday night's show, Multiple times. We already know who's on the block and who has veto because they've done that a week before the cameras and us seeing the show. And on Sunday they would do the ceremony. But after week one, on week two and on until the finale, they do the ceremonies on Monday. And just because Christmas has surgery on Monday, they're not going to change it to Sunday so that she can be at the ceremony. Sorry, but they told Christmas if she stays in the house, they're not changing anything about the game to accommodate her. Her going into surgery on Monday, that counts. They're not going to change it to accommodate her. If they do the same, if she's not there for the ceremony, they're probably gonna go on without her, and Paul and everybody else will fill her in when she gets back. Other than that, it is what it is. So the ceremonies are on Monday after week two. I mean after week one. So for the person on Twitter, hope you understand that. You must be new to Big Brother. This must be your first time watching Big Brother because you would have already known that. They do the same routine every year. Fridays are nominations. Saturday is the veto competition. And Sunday they have a day off so they can talk about the ceremony and who got veto and how it can affect the game, change the game, whatever. If they want to use it or not, blah, blah, blah. And then on Monday, they have the ceremony. Us watching it on TV, on CBS, it goes Thursday, live eviction, HOH. Sunday, 
we see the nominations and this year Dima Re of Temptations and then on Wednesday we see Veto and Veto Ceremony. Alex, please cover up. Like I was saying, cover up. Nobody wants to see your boots. Explaining earlier about Alex wearing, um, wearing that top that she shouldn't be wearing because she looks like a slut or a whore or a hooker. And I don't think her parents appreciate seeing that. And I know you guys out there are probably print screening like crazy, showing everybody and going crazy because you think she's gorgeous and whatnot. And I'm not saying this because I'm jealous because I'm not. I'm saying this because it's the truth. Anything you want, wherever you want. But, anyways, not much is going on on After Dark. But I need to teach some big brotherins how Twitter works. Because you're pissing me off. Because you don't know. When somebody on Twitter asks a question, you answer it. You don't fucking like the comment. You liking the comment is not going to get answer the question. They, they can't read your mind after you like the comment. They can't read your mind and know that that the answer to what they ask. If they ask a question, answer it. If you do not know the answer to it, but you want other people that may know, know about it so they can answer, then you retweet it. You don't like it. Nobody in there Twitter feeds can see that you liked a tweet. The only person that can see your likes are the person that wrote the tweet and you. Nobody else. And the funny thing is, I started out and people out in print screening their like and said, and then retweet them and go, why did you like this comment? Nobody else can see it but you and I. And their answer was, uh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't even read the tweet. I just liked it. Why would you like a tweet and not even read it? So, when you like a tweet, the reason why people tweet stuff is so people will retweet it. They don't tweet it so people can like. This ain't Facebook. So you either reply or you retweet. Liking is not an option. I wish um, Facebook or Twitter would take away likes because when I ask a question all I get is like 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 it's like that's not answering the question or if I tweet something about Big Brother all I get is like 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 and I'm like no you should be retweeting 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 you retweet other people's why can't you retweet mine are you scared that if you retweet something that you agree with and others don't agree, they might get mad because they can't reply back to you about that? When you retweet somebody, or when you retweet someone's tweet and someone else wants to reply to that tweet, they're replying to me, not to your retweet. Because that's not how Twitter works. Anyways, I hope that worked. I hope that answers all your questions. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments down below. July 10th, 2017. It looks like Christmas finally is back in the house. Like, not too long ago after the... Looks like it wasn't too long after the... Before After Dark started. I mean, she's doing okay. But, uh, as we know, the ceremony for the veto ceremony, you know, was today, like it always is on a Monday, and Paul, you know, used it, he used it on Josh, which I still think is stupid, because you never know how Josh is going to vote, and Cody is going on the block, I know Josh and Cody had this big old fight, so hopefully he'll vote Cody out for that. My battery's dead. Why is there a band-aid on Matt's tattoo? I've seen that a lot. How many people in there? How many? 17, 16. 
is Cody's on the block. Hopefully he goes home. And there is no battle back. It's called battle back people on Twitter. It's not called buyback. They're not buying anything. Big Brother doesn't... Julie Chan and Big Brother do not call it buyback. They call it battle back. And this Friday, y'all been... Even Big Brother Network.com is like, Battle Backs this Friday, Battle Backs this Friday, in week three. So, you're wrong. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's the 14th, I believe. No, 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 no. It's Battle Back is not the 14th. It's in week four. And it's on the 21st of July. So, thanks for lying to everyone. But anyways, that's why everyone's like, Oh, I see on my TV guide that it says the Battle Backs is Friday. No, your TV guide does not say that. See, I'm looking it up. There it is. Wednesday, the 12th. 7 o'clock, Thursday the 13th, 8 o'clock, Sunday the 16th, 7 p.m. I don't see the 14th with with Big Brother, but I do see it here. There's Wednesdays, there's Thursdays, Friday the 21st. So y'all are wrong. One more person has to be voted out for it to be a battle back. Stupidest questions on Twitter, I swear. Like, does man ever change his shirt? Um, you know, must not be watching the live feeds or, f or after dark. Because if you were, you'd fucking know the answer to that, dumbass. Because just yesterday he was wearing blue. Like, what is wrong with what Matt is wearing? 2017, and I just want to say to people on fucking Twitter that are boring as hell. Um, speaking of Cody and Jessica, you guys were like, oh my god, I hope Cody doesn't leave on Thursday. Oh, I hope Cody gets the battle bag because Cody, without Cody, the, the, without Cody, then Big Brother's boring. The feeds and everything is boring. And he makes for good TV. I didn't know laying around in a bed, making out with Jessica, and talking to nobody but themselves was good TV. In my book, that's boring and not good TV. I'd rather hear a pin drop than watch them lay around and talk to nobody and make out so you people on twitter you must live a boring boring life if you think he's entertaining and after what he did to his teammates well not his teammates anymore he's got to go and hopefully on battle back next week he does not come back i can't believe they actually left the bedroom and they're in a different room. Yeah, they're by themselves, but at least they're doing something else than laying around and making out. But Big Brother after dark, people that are doing the cameras for after dark, other people are in the kitchen talking, other people are talking. They're playing chess, checkers, whatever, and they're not even talking about anything important. So let's move on, because this is boring.